It's Magali, and I know it's been a really long time, but welcome to a new vlog. I don't even really have any recollection of when I last vlogged. Maybe it was like a month or something. So you will have to forgive me if I'm a little bit rusty or whatever, because I it feels like longer. It feels like I haven't done this in a while. And just a lot of stuff happened in between, and I decided to take a little step back from vlogging regularly because I thought it was what was healthy for me at that point but now I feel like I'm ready to come back ready to have a little bit more normalcy in my life and talk to you guys on a regular basis how have you all been I would love to hear about it it is um, getting a little cold in Mumbai right now we had one summer month which was very hot and almost unbearable but it's just one month you can take summer in one month uh, it's it's fun you know my plants all had a little growth spurt they like heat so they all like they were enjoying themselves now that it's gone to winter they're not so happy which is normal they're all tropical plants so they all take little like naps in winter and i'm dealing with a lot of like leaves just randomly drying up and dying i think it's normal right you guys tell me if i'm doing something wrong are there other plant people here leaves dry up a bit in winter like more than normal <laughs> this is my first winter with a lot of plants last year i had just one or two at this time of the year you know today i'm going to chat with you guys like a little bit about life and my break which is just self-indulgent chit chat and then i also have a really large amazon haul as well as a couple of clothing item haul that i'm going to show you guys after i talk to you so uh, there are timestamps in the description bar as usual if you'd like to skip the extra chit chat and all I totally understand that if you're here just for the hauls then you can skip just to the hauls I'm just letting you guys know I did take a really long break for a lot of reasons I think sometimes just life comes at you very quickly and it becomes really difficult to cope so the first reason that I stepped back a little bit was I think I got a little bit I got a little bit depressed for a while. I have this happen a few times a year. <laughs> Just little like periods of depression, not long term. I think it's healthy to talk about it because you know I want to be honest with you guys. Every time previously that I've been very upfront with you guys about mental health like anxiety and this stuff, I do occasionally get like some mean or nasty comments. And if I'm feeling vulnerable those comments can get to me. But I think I'm not feeling vulnerable right now and I'm feeling comfortable with sharing with you all that like it's okay to not be okay. That sounds like a bit corny or like a bit of a cliche. But if I'm okay with sharing you with you guys the good stuff, I should share with you guys the not so good stuff also. So like one month was really shitty like that. When you get depressed, it becomes a little hard to function also. And I think that time if I'm just like eating drinking taking that basic care of myself and when I say drinking I mean water like eating hydrating that's the most important I was not in a headspace for like creating content and all because I was just so low and I like to be a little bit like have some energy be a little positive when I'm talking to you all you know <laughs> one more thing that overlapped with that to some extent was that my eldest cat Thelma was really not well randomly we didn't know what happened and it has happened in the past once also he was seriously unwell it's due to some health problems that he got mostly before he was with us and you know I, I, I take it very badly when that happens and I was really worried at the same time I was searching for a new vet a new doctor to take him to because I realized our current doctor is very sweet but um, they, uh, he couldn't handle these more complex illnesses and uh, searching for a new vet in Mumbai is very very stressful there are so many but it's also scary I've had a bad experience with like a very fancy vet 
and at the time that I was searching all these news reports were coming out about like wet malpractice and like some dog died because the vet did something and whatever and I was in such a bad headspace but let me tell you all that we found a good vet I'm so happy with her and we took Telma like we were taking him for treatment like four or five times he went and he was on medicines we had to force feed him you know and force feeding is just it's very emotionally draining because they fight with you and you have to shove food down their throat but it's sometimes it's what's best for the pet and he has really bounced back we can't say like he's had 100 percent or whatever he had a damaged liver that just happens apparently sometimes with cats as they get older he's five years old he's much better now so yeah after I started feeling better it became difficult to vlog because I had neglected so much like so many different things that I needed to try and pick them up you guys know I'm working on ceramics right I talk about that a lot I had just two days ago I think I had my first proper ceramic drop for my brand studio Bahia I put so much of work into it and I was very nervous of course but it was such a good drop you guys the support has been phenomenal it has been like the best few days since i started my business like a lot of orders and i'm very very happy and i'm gonna start working on um, some more stuff also so i really feel like i'm on the up now and that's what i wanted to tell you all <laughs> now i think that i can go bring the stuff in here and uh, can start the unboxing so here i have all of the stuff for the amazon unboxing for today uh, they are quite a lot of things and that's because i neglected vlogging you know they all built up so we're gonna try to go quickly and as always i'm gonna leave links uh, to these products in the description box below this video so you can check them out and um, purchase anything that uh, you would like if you want to <laughs> so yeah <laughs> I just start with this bag which you know I kind of opened it already because I wanted to peep inside and see what it was it's basically um, peanut butter and I rarely eat peanut butter as is but I use it in my Japanese East Asian inspired broths because it adds a really nice flavor and it thickens the broth like anything it's very tasty and uh, my experience with using peanut butter totally changed as I read this tip by Chef Saranj Goyla who said that you know you should store your peanut butter jars upside down so that the oil always separates from good peanut butter but uh, like you know instead of it being on top it will be below so if you store your peanut butter jars upside down you really get a good consistency each time and it has made a big difference for me so I thought I'll pass it on to you as well now this bag also I peeped into just because I was like what what is in here I forgot what I ordered but I ordered masala chai this is deadly masala chai which we drink I switched between the masala and elaichi tea they both taste nice but if you drink one for too long you get bored so switching is interesting and I actually have um, four boxes inside this bag so this each box has 50 tea bags so this will last like an okay amount of time i guess i am really cramped in here i should have moved the plants away they are taking precious real estate plants on this side boxes on this side hardly any space for me to sit but let's move on to this is next box i know i have my utility knife here I always feel so badass uh, using this knife to cut open stuff but also be careful because it is sharp but it's really really good quality I'm gonna link this knife also below because I think it's like an essential thing that everybody should have like not just for opening boxes it's very strong it's fully metal and it's also made in India which I like I love that Amazon is switching to now like more paper based um, packaging even for fragile items and this they can actually recycle um, old boxes into this kind of packaging 
and because I end up ordering a lot of stuff from Amazon and all I always save the extra packaging materials so I can repurpose it for my brand since I sell ceramics I need to pad them up really no otherwise they're fragile they'll break so I need to use these materials and I've not had to purchase any of the internal packaging materials. I buy the boxes but the internal stuff I'm able to repurpose it. And I just bought one of this Lauganma pickle. I was trying to remember which one I bought. Uh, this is the Lauganma chili in oil. There are so many of these. I've shown you guys before the chili crisp one, the black bean one. But it's very intimidating to know which one to buy. So I bought like a third different one this time, chili in oil. And if you search for them, there are a lot of reviews available online. And people keep on like rating them and arguing about, you know, which one is better and stuff. But my experience with this has been really good. They are not very spicy and they're very flavorful. Again, great for broths and stuff. I do recommend Lauganma if you can get your hands on it. But apparently it's like cheaper in a lot of foreign countries. I don't know why it's so expensive in India. So I think if this becomes more popular, it'll become cheaper, you know. Now since it's still a little difficult to find, the vendors that sell it are able to charge premium costs for it. Oh, I'm very excited about this. I've been meaning to make my um, Samyang Guldak tasting video for a really long time, but I saw they had this new flavor that I don't think they had before we call the cream carbonara flavor this really sounds like it's right up my alley because it's a little spicy but it's like creamy so I absolutely had to get it I have four boxes of Orion's Custas cupcakes on here this is a repeat purchase I'm sure I had this in one of my previous vlogs from a couple of months ago and I also have a tasting video I'll link it over there where I tried this it's pretty delicious so I indulge myself and have a couple of these they do have egg in them so if you don't eat egg then you guys shouldn't buy this but otherwise I would recommend trying this out I think Amazon only sells the boxes of four it's very tasty so you can go ahead and get it and then you can thank me later because you're really going to love it like I'm pretty sure you are. I just have one strainer here that I already took out of its packaging but I kept it here to show it to you guys. Um, I wanted to make something very specific and I needed one of these metal strainers to rinse it. After you cook it you need to rinse it so I purchased a very inexpensive metal strainer. It looks like it'll do the trick. I hope it works. In here I have one sugar-free green. This is like a stevia based sweetener that we use at home for our teas. Since we drink a lot of tea, it's recommended to cut out the sugar. And tea just doesn't taste nice without some sweetness, at least not to us. So we add like one tablet of these per cup and it's yummy. So I actually buy quite a few of these. And I think I have like some on the way as well. This box is fragile in like really bold lettering. So I'm trying to remember what it is I bought that was fragile. More eco-friendly packaging. Oh no, I remember what I bought. I remember now. So I bought a bottle of extra virgin olive oil. There was a time when we used to use olive oil for all our cooking at home but after a while I didn't see the point of it you know so we switched back to sunflower oil but in winter I really go mad with buying a lot of fresh produce so we get a lot of nice things here like lettuce and stuff in Mumbai only during winter time otherwise it's either not available or it just costs too much money I make a lot of salads at home and I've been buying salad dressing most of the time but I wanted to try and make a simple vinaigrette and for that I thought this is gonna be a good olive oil it's the single variety olive oil like it's something a little bit fancier you know it comes in a glass bottle and it has some pura or something inside this is what it looks like this is a 500 ml bottle so I'm very excited to give this a try soon like I've eaten vinaigrette before but it's always been pre-prepared making it myself is going to be fun 
and I know that like most of the dressings I've been buying so far have been sort of creamy so they're probably not the healthiest and vinaigrette's definitely a lighter dressing so it's gonna be healthier I got some more tea you guys more deadly chai there's two boxes in here and this is the elaichi I told you guys we sort of alternate between like a box of elaichi box of masala to keep things fresh so four boxes of masala two boxes of elaichi I bought some crunchy granola bars from Monsoon Harvest. I tried these randomly. They were in like a, this gift box I got and they were so delicious. They are the dark chocolate and espresso ones. They're a little dry but otherwise just really tasty. The coffee chocolate combination works so well. So I finished up a box and had to get another one. I just really like grabbing these if I'm a little extra hungry. These are tasty and they hit the spot. Sometimes I delay my meals, I'm busy with something or the other. And it's never ideal, but I'd rather, you know, have one of these than go hungry. I bought some new scissors for my various like craft and projects from this brand called Kokuyu. This is actually a Japanese brand, but they, um, Kokuyu. Kokuyu, I pronounced that wrongly. They bought Camlin, the Indian stationery brand. So now it's Kokuyu, Camlin. <laughs> um, that's what the company is called. And these are their scissors. These are pretty much the best rated scissors on Amazon that everyone's raving about. And they're affordable because the Scotch brand 3M, it costs like 300, 500, 1000 for some fancy ass scissors. And otherwise the cheaper scissors don't work well but these work really well apparently and they cost 100 bucks each they are made in china but they're made with japanese technology they look like a pretty nice blade you always need a good pair of scissors you know sometimes i like i'm searching for so many scissors and i try so many out and they just don't work well on tougher things the only pain about this is that Amazon forces you to buy three scissors at one time. They don't want to just send out one. But then I still figured, you know, I can give them to anybody. I can give some to mom. It's fine because I don't know if I would get these same scissors in a shop. Probably not. So I bought them. And all three I got are pink. They look quite cute. They are bigger than I expected. I never look at measurements. I am really excited to get my hands on some good scissors. I bought a pack of film for my Instax Square camera. I started taking photos again occasionally with it. I recently went on a cruise. Do you guys know? I mean, if you watch my main channel, I did a whole vlog on it. I'm linking it there. So I took some Instax photos again. Amazon recently had a sale and I saw this film available at quite a good price. Like, that was an okay discount because it's otherwise pretty expensive. So I figured it does not hurt to pick up a pack since I'm shooting with it again and I keep that film in my dry cabinet because it's expensive so it should be under the right conditions uh, that will just make sure it stays okay longer I bought some knives and these are not even the only knives that you're gonna see in this haul I guess uh, these are Kai knives so Kai is a Japanese brand and I've been talking about them now and then. They make the best face razors ever. I'm gonna link those face razors. Oh, they are amazing. And they also make really nice nail cutters. And they make a lot of knives. Now, some of their pricier knives are made in Japan ones. They have knives that cost six, seven thousand a single knife. But those are supposed to be so good, you can use them for a lifetime. Maybe someday I'll splurge on a knife like that. But I bought some of their more affordable knives that are made in india by the same brand this is a set and there's actually an ulterior motive i have for buying these oh they seem really lightweight i don't know if that's a good or bad thing the ikea knives are heavier and ikea's affordable knives also are really good i'm gonna give these a try there are four different knives one is serrated but one of the reasons i purchased these is because i wanted to get this this is actually really cool as far as i know this is made in Japan or 
I don't know. But it's my Kai brand only and it is a knife sharpener uh, with ceramic inside. We all need a good knife sharpener. I have one at home from Ikea. It's a bulkier one with three sharpening blades. But I really like this concept because it's so cute. It's just a plastic carrot and it's also a magnet. So you can keep it on your fridge. We already have veggie magnets on our fridge. But this one is not just cute. It's functional. When your knife feels blunt, just go to the fridge, take this out and sharpen it. This was available to purchase on its own also. But it was available in this knife set at a really good price. And that's why I bought it. We're coming to the end now. We got this last few boxes this is part of my whole like attempt to make vinaigrette by myself you guys already saw the olive oil i'm using now i also bought a bottle of balsamic vinegar from modena now i have other vinegar i have apple cider vinegar guan vinegar so many different ones but I realized that in a vinaigrette, I probably need balsamic because uh, the flavor of this is quite different to all of the light colored vinegars. Bottle looks pretty cute and it's glass. It looks like one of those old timey wine bottles. And I'm gonna give this whole like vinaigrette thing a try soon. I have lettuce in the fridge, I could do it today. Let's see. I get really excited about doing these little projects. Recently, I um also pickled some cucumber and i was thinking of doing it in a vlog remember i was talking about it i didn't end up doing it in that vlog but i made a short video which i'm going to link over there it's a vertical video about the whole process of pickling and it was really fun to make that video my mom helped me a lot and it's also really fun to pickle stuff you know and when i say Pickle, I don't mean like how we make achar in India, you know, with a lot of masala. I just mean put it in vinegar with minimal spices and then it gets like pickled and tangy. It turned out very well. Some more knives from Kai brand only, but these are different. One's a vegetable knife, one's a kitchen knife. These are also both really light and um, also pretty affordable and these are also manufactured in India so these are not their premium knives but they're supposed to be really good so maybe I'll ask my mom to try them and report back I also chop but I don't have a lot of experience and I'm very slow with chopping so most of the time even if I'm cooking something my mom helps me with all of the prep and I, I really want to learn but she says that she gets like bored seeing me chopping really slowly so she helps me out i want to learn some knife skills also but for me you know i just go very slowly because i'd rather be very careful so the thing that i have in here is just mio creamy treats for my cats my cats love these and even when Telma had really low appetite and he was not eating his normal food he used to love eating these treats uh, so i just uh, Splurged. I was really panicking when he was not eating and I bought him a lot of like nice like extra nice food I already give them pretty nice food But I just wanted to treat him and make him feel like hungry make him enjoy food again. So I really bought too much And this is the second box. That's why I didn't have to open it because I'm on the first box But there are like There are a lot of treats in here I don't know how many but this will last a while like each packet has four in them and I think I must be having 30 40 30 packets maybe 30 packets in here that's it for today's Amazon haul I mentioned a very small clothing haul as well so I have the things here in two boxes and each box just has one one item really first up i have something purchased from march you may have heard me talk about this brand before and my favorite mask that i wear quite a lot the one the reddish one that goes around the head that one's from this brand like they started as a premium t-shirt brand but they make a lot of different things and this is not a t-shirt i have not tried their t-shirts but I had my eye on something from them and I decided to just 
finally go ahead and buy it. The packing it comes in is really nice. The boxes are such good quality. Very minimal but I purchased one more mask because who knows I guess how long we will have to be wearing masks. I know that when I'm in public, when I'm outside, I still prefer to wear it for everyone's safety. And then I also purchased a 100% cotton apron. I actually bought this for my pottery. I barely wear aprons when I do work but you know I figured that sometime I may want to wear it or maybe I'll want one just for the aesthetics. It's this very very beautiful color. I'm obsessed with this light shade of sage green fabric feels amazing and i'm just not going to open it up right now but it's basically an apron you probably know what an apron looks like this just looks wonderful and here i purchased one thing from zara and i got like the diwali boxes because this is newly bought and oh i forgot to show you um march even sent a little um like some merchandise of theirs as a free gift a cute little pencil <laughs> thanks guys i love when they put little things in with orders and i actually use pencils again now since when i'm drawing on under glaze i'll sometimes draw with pencil first but i've been really having this full-on obsession of late with dungarees so I bought blue dungarees from H&M that I really like and I've already worn them so much. I recently purchased black dungarees also from H&M that I like and I always oversize my dungarees a little bit just because that's what gives the best fit. And I saw these brown fabric dungarees on Zara, actually one of my friends on Instagram, Farheen was wearing it and I asked her where it's from. And so I have these brown ones. Okay. I don't love this. The bottom is all frayed. I don't know why they do this. Just finish the bottoms. This does not look cool. It looks untidy. But the top part of it looks really nice. You know. It's quite heavyweight. Which is good if you want to wear it for a long time. Like it's not cheap. But if you wear it a lot. I think it's worthwhile. So I will probably try that on later. That's it for today's haul. I have talked a lot and I'm gonna move on with my day now like thanks for watching the vlogs not over though but we got through the hall so we just have to step out uh, for a little errand and I'm also gonna get a treat when we're coming back right no 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 yes no. yes no. try my hands at making some vinaigrette right now these are gonna be the star ingredients and I'm gonna mix it in a jar I might mix a little extra and keep it for some salad later in the week or something mm -hmm. 